Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Trade and Industry Minister Dr. Rob Davies, in collaboration with the Department of Environmental Affairs, has launched the Electric Vehicle Industry Roadmap. Natalie Grieve attended the program launch earlier this month to find out more. The EV industry roadmap will, through the application of several strategic interventions, look to develop a South African EV industry by supporting their local production and the components thereof. Key interventions will include local demand stimulation for EVs through the development of a variety of tax incentives, such as a personal income tax rebate and reduced EV registration costs. But I think that we also know that the experience in South Africa to date has not been that our consumers and customers have been automatically warming to these kinds of vehicles. Uh, I think the experience of the rollout of the hybrid vehicle in South Africa was not a great success, I think, uh, uh, and, and, and our, our people don't immediately uh, see the uh, significance and relevance of that. So I think that we've realized that we need a, a number uh, of other uh, programs in place. And some of those are going to involve uh, demand stimulation measures. We are still considering, so I'm not going to announce the details today, we're still considering uh, some kind of uh, uh, incentive uh, that might be available uh, to consumers who purchase electric vehicles. Uh, we are considering also uh, some kind of um, uh, uh, potential decision uh, by government uh, to purchase uh, electric vehicles. Uh, we are certainly involved as the uh, Department of Environmental uh, and uh, Water Affairs program has already, uh, uh, well, is a significant part of this, uh, promoting consumer awareness and public uh, uh, education. Davies added that government would also drive additional investment in local EV manufacturing operations through amendments to the existing automotive production and development program. This currently provided original equipment manufacturers, which produced over 50,000 units, with a 20% return on projected investment in new plant and machinery. The electric vehicle roadmap uh, will actually um, be incorporated within the automotive production and development program. And um, essentially uh, the proposal which we are putting out today is that we will encourage and incentivize automotive manufacturers to manufacture uh, electric vehicles in South Africa by introducing a very, very, we think, generous quota allowance for the manufacture of those vehicles in South Africa. Under the APDP, to benefit from the, uh, uh, the incentive, uh, the overall incentive scheme, uh, which is partly in the form of duty credits and partly in the, in the form of, of, of straight support, uh, you have to produce uh, in South Africa a minimum of 50,000 vehicles. And we are saying that uh, to qualify under the electric vehicle manufacturing program, uh, the uh, number required will be 5,000. So a considerable reduction uh, on, the, uh, on the total, uh, the minimum uh, uh, volume required uh, to, poly to, to qualify from this. And we've also increased the level of the percentage to 35% cash back on the investment over three years. So that's the, uh, uh, the gist of the, of the uh, APDP uh, uh, amendment that we are proposing. Other news making headlines this week. The Free Market Foundation says the new licensing bill will give officials too much power and the South African tool making sector is set to get a boost. Free Market Foundation Executive Director Leon Lowe says that government's proposed licensing of business bill will provide local government officials with unconstrained discretionary power, creating massive bureaucratic empires and eroding rule of law. The most serious thing about this bill is that we used to have one like this during the dark days of apartheid where every single business had to be licensed and the purpose of it was to oppress blacks. It was to keep blacks out of business and it did so very effectively. The point is that it will victimise especially unsophisticated people. They will be unable to cope with the bureaucracy, the red tape, the cost, the formalities and they will be victims of bribery and corruption. So this will make the unemployment and the poverty problem a lot worse. 
the Tooling Association of South Africa and the Gauteng Tooling Initiative are on the verge of launching a formal cluster aimed at providing the South African tooling sector with access to large automotive tooling contracts. Last year, the automotive industry spent 4.3 billion rands on tooling and very little of that came to South Africa. Why? Because the packages that are, that are contracted range from 10 to 50 million rands at a time. So there's no way that the individual tool makers in South Africa have access to that. So therefore we are now creating a cluster. Taza and GTI, they're in the process and they, they have already signed from the Taza side an agreement with JEP that is the Gauteng Enterprise Propeller to give seed money to the tune of 3.1 million per year over the next three years. With that seed money, we are going to create a central office with project management and with design capability so that we have a single face to the customer. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.